Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your HubSpot account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you set up an email campaign in your HubSpot? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create an email campaign in HubSpot anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, it's important to stay in touch with your email list and with HubSpot, you can send those emails out. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your HubSpot account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I already logged into my HubSpot account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to set up an email campaign, you're going to click on this blue bar here on the left. Once you do that, it's going to open up and you want to look for this line here called marketing. Once you click there, you're going to see another drop down menu and click on this one here called email. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to see all of the email campaigns that you've set up in HubSpot. However, in order to create new email, click on this button here on the top right called create email. Okay. Next you need to choose what type of email. So if you're going to do an automated email, so if something triggers a process, like maybe a form was submitted, you can automate the email process right here. If you want to send a one-off email, like maybe it's a newsletter for the week, you can go ahead and choose this one for the purpose of this video. I'm going to go ahead and send out a regular email. Okay. Next we come to the email templates for HubSpot. The cool thing about them is they have a lot of different templates you can choose from, as you can see here. So just kind of scroll through until you find one that fits your business needs. So I kind of like this one. It looks really plain and simple. So I'm going to click right here. Okay guys. So here is where we can go ahead and set up our email campaign. So you can go ahead and edit the email as you see fit. Let me jump over here. Okay. As you can see, it's set up already. So it's going to greet the email subscriber by their first name, and you can easily just click into the email and then just edit as you see fit. So for example, we'll just go ahead and edit this down. Hello. This is a new email campaign. Okay. And let me click done. And then you can actually here on the left, it's like setting up a Facebook page. You can just grab something and just drag it right in. So for example, if we want an image up here at the top, we can drag it up there. See the blue line, it jumped to the bottom. So the image would be at the bottom. Let me go ahead and add it to the top. Okay. Now we can go ahead and edit the image. We're going to go ahead and select an image. So let me go ahead and upload an image from my computer. Okay. I uploaded and I'm going to click on it. Okay. Now you see the image updates in my email campaign for HubSpot. Okay. Next you want to go ahead and click on the settings button right here on the top center. Okay. Now you can change the name of who this is going to come from right here. And if you have multiple emails that are connected to your HubSpot, you can go ahead and change the email this is going to come from. Okay. Now let's go ahead and enter in a subject line. Okay. So there is our subject line with subject line. You want to make sure that it's appealing and catchy because if it's not your open rates going to really drop. However, at the same time, you don't want to make it clickbait. So for example, if you put in here, we're giving away a thousand dollars, but it has nothing to do with the email itself. Don't do that because you're going to get a lot of people unsubscribing. Okay. So the preview text, you can go ahead and set this up. So basically this is the preview of the email that will show in their iPhone. Okay. Here you can go ahead and change the language of the email and then the subscription type. All right. So that looks pretty good. Now we can go ahead and click right here to send immediately, or we can schedule in advance. Okay. Now we need to choose who we're going to send this to. Okay. Here we can go ahead and opt out some of our subscribers on who we do not want to send. Okay. And then here on the right, we can go ahead and choose to send it immediately once we're finished with our email campaign or we can click right here All right now we can schedule it in the future. So today's the 16th of August. So maybe we want to send this out on Monday and then we can even choose the time that this is going to go out. So that looks pretty good to me. If we're ready to go ahead and set up this email campaign from HubSpot, click on review and schedule here on the top, right? Okay. Next you're going to see this pop up here to review all of the information we put into the email. And if it all looks good to you, you want to go ahead and click on send or schedule minus for schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. All right. Next you get this confirming that I have that email scheduled for that particular time. So let me close this out. All right. And it brings me back here to the email marketing screen. So as you can see, here is the email campaign that we just set up through our HubSpot and it's scheduled to go out on Monday. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to set up an email campaign in your HubSpot, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.